Okay, so now we're gonna open up the control panel and show you what's inside. First thing I want you to notice on the left here is that we have this knurled knob, it's like a friction lock. So you're just gonna twist it uh, clockwise to the left and that's gonna steady the lid on your control panel. Okay, so it's not gonna tip backwards or fall forward on you in the wind or something like that. Um, the first thing you wanna do, or the second thing you wanna do on here is uh, find the power cord, get your power cord out. The control panel is surface powered, so it's 110 to 240, it's universal AC power, uh, which means that you can plug it in any socket uh, that will accept it, a grounded socket, or you can run it off a 1,000, 2,000 watt gasoline generator, or like the 800 watt inverter uh, that we showed you when we opened up the ROV case. The second important thing coming out of the back here is, is what we call a whip. Uh, this is where you're going to connect your tether it's going to connect to your submersible. So we pull those out first, make sure they're clear. The main component of the control panel is your PC here. Now uh, this is going to process all the data going to and from the submersible. It's going to give you your live video feed. Uh, it's also going to capture all of your video and, uh, and, and still images onto the hard drive here. So you can simply export them with a USB stick or whatever and, uh, and deliver those as you, as you need to. This computer is on a cradle here and when we get ready to pilot we're going to pull the cradle up and we're going to send it back and then we're going to open the lid and we're going to push that back so what we have now is if you have the external monitor in your, in your case uh, your ICB some do some don't if you ordered it for this example here we're going to show it with now we have a two screen workspace so everything is running off a of Windows 7 off the Dell um, PC here. So with this, we can extend the display on the screen. We can give us, it gives us much more real estate to move windows if we're using a sonar, uh, multiple windows, things like that. So we're going to fire up the, uh, the, the computer in a bit here and we're going to show you the video ray cockpit interface. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go over the anatomy of the control panel. So this is a typical setup right here. You have tether coming out, power coming out. Your computer is set up on its cradle and you're ready to go. So next thing we gotta do is connect the ROV, power up the system, throw the sub in the water.